Hello beautiful people, it's your girl Precious and you are welcome to my kitchen. Well, my soon-to-be um, old kitchen or ex-kitchen. Oh my god, you guys, this is a bittersweet moment for me. I am making my final video in this kitchen that I have loved for a year. You guys saw me when I made my first video. You saw my kitchen tour. You have, you've been so supportive. You celebrated with me when I got this kitchen. So I thought it would be a great thing to make my final video in this kitchen. We are moving out of this house into a new house and... My kitchen is empty. We've emptied this kitchen, guys. And my things are in the new kitchen. I'm going to show you guys. But first, let's take a look at what I'm leaving. I loved this kitchen so much. I named her Cookielicious. Look at my baby girl. <laughs> Say hello. Say hello. Oh, cute girl. You're so pretty. <laughs> so, um, I loved this kitchen so much that I named her Cookilicious. I just, I'm going to tell you guys the things I loved about this kitchen. First, I really wanted white cabinets. I loved the white cabinets, but it was not just about the white cabinets. It was the fact that this kitchen had a stove right on the island, which I feel is ideal for shooting a cooking show because then we don't have to move the lights to the back. Even though my new kitchen has the stove at the back, but I really don't mind that right now. I feel like it's still perfect for this time in my life. But I loved the fact that this kitchen had, you know, burners right on the island in the middle of the kitchen. And I loved the fact that this kitchen had a lot of space. You know, not just the small corner, but there was a lot of extra space to work with. Enough space to put our cameras, our lights. Look at somebody is <laughs> sneaking into my video. Salma, do you want to say hi? Hi. It's Salma. These are my lights. We are yet to pack these lights in to go with. These are some shooting stuff. I mean, just mix up with some of the kids. <laughs> Winter stuff which you don't need here anyway. Um, yeah. I bought a cooler to take out stuff from the freezer here. It's bittersweet, but I'm ready for what the future holds in my new kitchen. I added a backsplash to this kitchen because the wall was just like this brown, kind of a light brown or birch color, which I don't like. So we added this peel and stick, which will leave, you know, because someone else might use this. You never know. We added this to this keychain and uh, what else it's so dirty right now <laughs> I'm going to have to clean it up before we leave okay so even though I loved this you know the burners here I loved the burners on the island I did one, one thing I did not like is I didn't like the countertop they, they just I don't know what material this is but it just looked so old and just no life, lifeless, you know. I didn't quite like this, you know. And yeah, but but it's it's been a great kitchen. I had my nice, cute little um, wall oven here. One disadvantage was it was quite small, so I could not quite. Um, Sam, what are you doing? That that looks dirty though. We'll probably have to wash it before we can use it to take off the dust so i could not quite put like large baking sheets into this oven so i'm excited that i now have bigger ovens i'm going to show you guys hey nene are you busy working no what are you doing i'm just walking around ah, you should find some you need to get, get you something to do okay. that's my husband that's my husband working so hard loading up the car. Of the car. Lots and lots of stuff to carry. Uh. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I'm the 
new machine. I'll have to carry this along with me. I think it got broken. We'll see if we can fix it. It's this um, African grinding, grinding machine. It's so dusty. Eh? This is, guys, this is the island. You know, my very first kitchen in which I started making YouTube videos, there was no island. So I bought this little thing which my husband spray painted purple because I love purple. Then we just used to attach this to the countertop, then it looked like a peninsula. Then I used to do videos. So when we were moving, I kind of felt <laughs> emotionally attached to it and I didn't let it go. And now it's been, you can see how dusty it is because it has it has stayed in my garage the whole time. So I'm gonna move, let me show them properly. You see, it had like two cupboards under, it had wheels. So this thing used to stay at the back of my kitchen. Then when we are about to shoot, we'll just roll it to the front and then I'll use it to make videos. It created like a walk surface for me. I think it's time to let it go because I've not really used it much in the past year. So it just had my, it was just holding my grinding. If you're from Cameroon, you know, you will know this thing. We use it to grind peanuts, that's groundnuts or um, a goosey, different things. I bought this thing on Amazon and <laughs> I love using it. I just, I mean, it, it's the so way this thing connects me to home. I can't even explain. Even though we have blenders here and all those, but I just, I just love having this meal. I think it's called a cornmeal grinder on Amazon. Um, I, I'll put a link in the description down below so you could get one if you want to. So guys, this is my freezer right now. Sorry, it's a little noisy because we are we're packing. But this is my freezer. You know what? When I did a what's in my fridge video, I actually forgot to show you guys what was in my freezer. I only realized that after, I mean, blame that on mommy brain. <laughs> okay, so, but this is just my messed up freezer right now. with just random stuff. I have some banana leaves in there. Um, ice blocks um what what else so ground some, beef burgers yeah ground beef burgers um if you follow me on instagram you must, must have seen me use this ground beef burgers to make some quick burgers for my kids for lunch i have some frozen cassava Mary, hold hold essie she, essie's is going to pull down the thing essie grabs everything now so she's she's grabbing the the cable to my camera stand there I pull it away from the from there kale. oh there's some chopped kale that you know I use for smoothies I just froze the whole bag because I didn't want it to get bad and what else Salma mm -hmm. okay that's so we are going to pack all these Salma do you want to help me put these on the cooler so we can yes. take it along with us so guys I put the things I'm carrying for the day into my car and my husband took some things in his own car so I'm, I'm stopping here at the Home Depot before getting home to check out like kitchen backsplash because my present kitchen doesn't quite have a backsplash so I want to just check out what they have. I'm hoping to eventually find something on clearance because I don't like to pay full price for anything so I just want to have a feel of what they have then I'll go back home and I'll show you guys my new kitchen. So guys I'm in my new kitchen. Um, it's getting dark so I have my kitchen lights on, they are yellow pad on that. But I think the video still looks nice. So let me show you guys around. So this is my huge kitchen island. Oh my god, my baby. <laughs> okay, this is the space for the fridge. Um, we've not gotten a fridge yet, so we are thinking of getting like the Samsung smart fridge. Let me know what you guys think if you have that fridge and you use it how do you love it please comment below and let me know so this is the pantry I'm going to put on the light um, nothing is quite organized yet I'm still we are still moving in so I'm still putting things together so um, probably when I'm done organizing I'm going to do like an organized kitchen tour but for now things are like all over the place <laughs> okay these are my double ovens you guys don't mind the baby beep hanging there with the <laughs> old kitchen towel but yeah there are things all over the place right now just bear with me so these are the cabinets um the cabinets are black um i really wanted white cabinets then i made a video um i made an instagram story actually and i did a poll asking 
um, you guys what you think if I should paint this cabinet white or leave them black and I was so surprised that 65% voted that I leave them black so and 35% said I should paint them white but I was really surprised I thought everyone was going to say paint them white paint them white but I mean thank you guys for responding because then I learned how to embrace these I might eventually still paint them but I would love to enjoy these cabinets as they are right now you know so that's some oven big jello fries which I made that's what we had for lunch today my little cute pot corn oil <laughs> I saw that pepper. So these are my cabinets. This is the countertop. It's a really huge kitchen. I just love the set of three. The set. I bought the set from Nordstrom last year. I think during their anniversary sale. It's an Italian kitchen storage glass set. I love how pretty it looks, and I just put some rice and pasta there for the look. Actually. For some reason now, I, I don't want to cook with these. I just love the way they look, but I'm eventually going to cook with them. So I love the drawers. The, so I have this one thing I love. This is my stove top. Why didn't I talk about this? So on my stove top, I have five burners. Before I had four, but right now, guys, five burners, which just makes me happy. And I have a really huge burner here. You know, this pot is covering it, but it's really, really big. So. I have used drawers here where I store my pots and pans. There's so much, so much storage space. So, so much storage space. Um, dishwasher, a huge kitchen sink. I love that the sink is overlooking, you know, outside. You know, that's our yard. And, um, yeah. Just random stuff because we are still moving in, guys. We're still moving in. <laughs> I've not arranged anything. I think the only thing I've somehow arranged is my buffet server. And I just displayed my wooden bowls there with some um this handmade bowls and plates, which I love so much. I got it from um Quiet Line Designs on Instagram. I'll leave her link below. She's amazing. Look at that <laughs> I love this buffet server I love the, the character every other thing is still a work in progress but I thought I should show you guys so you know what I'm up to guys <laughs> okay guys I thought I should show you guys my backyard it's pretty much dirt at this point but I'm so excited because being from Africa I love the soil I love a, a big backyard and this backyard is huge can you see that this is huge it's dirt we are going to do some landscaping I'm thinking of planting some fruit trees out here I'm thinking of making a step-by-step -step garden yeah you guys let me know what you think so I'm thinking this space over here this space over here I should I should remove all of this even though it looks pretty you know I like it but I'm thinking of taking out this and doing a step-by-step -step garden I've seen some really great ideas on Pinterest you know just do a step-by-step -step garden so I can plant all the African vegetables jama and jama green some tomato some cucumber some zucchini I'm also thinking of putting some um, fruit trees on the backyard you know avocado tree lemon tree lime tree because those do so well in California I'm thinking of having a grapevine you know as many fruit trees as I can they are quite short so they'll they'll go like around the fence I'm so excited you guys if you're into gardening let me know what ideas you have for me so can you see how much space and uh, this is just a big big blessing you know so um, over here look my girls have been playing so you can see that <laughs> so on at this corner I would like to have an outdoor kitchen which I'm going to use to probably show you guys the my grilling recipes I'm so excited I'll have I would like to have an outdoor kitchen built here so um, I have gas I have a gas connection there so I could have like a gas grill out here so I'll, I'll love to have a barbecue island and I'll probably put a tap um, a sink rather <laughs> and I'll also put um, a fridge for, for keeping drinks 
so I could just come out here and work since it's I mean we have the weather here is quite good so we, we have a lot of outdoor time um, throughout the year so I could really come out here and cook while the kids play and just enjoy time outside so yep <laughs> So guys, my next cooking videos are going to be in this brand new kitchen. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. <laughs> I'm so excited. Thank you guys for watching. If you've not subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click on the subscribe button and also click on the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I post a new video. If you loved the video, give me a good thumbs up and consider sharing this on social media. <laughs> my baby is trying to grab it. Don't grab it, Essie. Don't grab it. <laughs> this chubby sweet girl. Let me show you guys. Say bye. This girl needs me to breastfeed her, so I'm going to leave you guys now so I can attend to her. Say bye-bye. Ah, she's busy with something else. Bye, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.